Hi guys, it's Felicia with Halfway Ever After Living and today is Wednesday, January 19th. I just wanted to check in and chat with you guys a little bit during this workout. Um, first, I'll just start off by saying that this was a quick and I do mean a very quick workout. So don't worry, we'll be at the weigh-in in no time. However, if you would prefer to scrub ahead, I totally get it and I'll leave the timestamp for the weigh-in here. For those of you that choose to stay, I just wanted to check in with y'all and see how you were doing on your goals for the year. I also would like to share that over the last two weeks, the temperatures here in Florida have been pretty cold for me. I'm not crazy about cold weather at all. To be honest, I'm very uncomfortable when I'm cold. Needless to say, my longer walks have not been happening. For reference, I completely skipped my 8 miler this past weekend. And I found myself beginning to make excuses. Such as, 8 miles is way too long to do on the treadmill. I also said things like, 46 degrees is just way too cold to be outside. Which it is, but let me tell you, the self-awareness is real. So I reached out to my IG fam for tips and advice, you know, just to kind of help me get through the outdoor workouts in these cooler temperatures. And boy, did they come through. So I ended up ordering a few things to kind of increase my comfort level. And once they arrive, I'll be sure to share them with you. But. My question for you today is, is there any area in your own life where you are able to identify that it's you and your own excuses that are holding you back? This is not only regarding health, this could also transfer to relationships, your finances, your business, education, career, or heck, are you even enjoying your retirement in a way in which you know that you could? I just challenge you to check yourself. Check yourselves the way that I had to. I mean, there's no way that I've come this far to allow a few cold months to stand between my current self and the woman that I'm striving to be. So just think to yourself, like, is there anything that you're allowing to stand in between where you are currently and between the person that you really want to be or living the life that you truly want to live? Think about it. And if so, hey, perhaps you may want to work on those things or even if you don't want to work on them, just to have the self-awareness around it, I think is most important. Okay. Let's get back to this workout. Alright guys, it is time for Weigh In Wednesday. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. As you can see by the title of this video, I have hit my lowest weight ever on this weight loss journey. I've been smaller before, way smaller. But, so you guys know, I have my phone here. I just want to go back and check dates to be sure. So it looks like my lowest weigh-in was, you gotta filter these calendars, Monday, December 20th, that had been my previous lowest weight, 226.4, which I was really excited about. And then, you know, went on vacation, the holidays, etc. And last week, week, I weighed in at 228.8, which was one pound gain from the previous week of 227.8. But I am so pleased to tell you guys, you guys know like I was trying to hit 225 for New Year's, right? But holidays happen, I just got kind of got sidetracked. Okay, 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 let me stop stalling. Okay, I'm so excited. So, Monday, January 17th, which was also MLK Day, I weighed in at 
224.6. Yes, 224.6. I totally bypassed 225 and when I got on that scale, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And in honor of MLK Day, free at last. Free at last. Thank God almighty, I'm free at last. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> No, but I'm so excited about this because I don't know what it was, but Monday when I weighed in and I saw that number, I was just like, <sighs> I had, like I already, I already knew I was gonna hit my goal, but I had this increased sense of confidence that, girl, you are gonna be under 200 pounds in no time. So I'm so proud of myself. And I think also too, it really helped me to be able to see that I, I could, can, whatever add in some weight training and not gain because I was kind of gaining there for a little bit and stalling and I know I'm building muscle I know I know but those numbers just screw up my head sometimes but the lifting one day a week is it's working for me I'm going to continue with it and another thing that I'm adding to my routine is hiking so as I embark upon this journey I will be sure to share that with you guys as well because I am working on being my the best version, like this person I see of myself. Like she, she hikes, she does yoga. Like she's freaking amazing. I'm already freaking amazing, but like I see her. I see future Felicia. And I'm just working to get towards her. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like more content like this, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Join the team, all of my new subscribers. Gosh, you guys, I totally appreciate you. We're growing. Like. I'm really excited about that. So until the next video, bye. Still.